Welcome back to Live With, RX Muscle's Iron Road to the Olympia 2017, brought to you by Yamamoto Nutrition and ProTan. I'm Dave Palumbo, and today we're here with one of the most entertaining personalities in the entire men's physique pro division. He's our good friend, Andre Ferguson. What's going on, guys? What's going on? Four big wins this year, Andre. I can't believe you, you predicted it. Um, you made it, almost made a six in a row happen, but... Uh, you're the, I, I believe you're the winningest men's physique uh, pro of the year. You won Hawaii, the New York pro, which was the big win for you. Miami, Toronto. You were second at the Arnold, which I personally thought you should have won that one. And uh, Pittsburgh, of course, you, you just uh, finished in that second position again. But having, you're having a stellar season. If there's something called momentum, you certainly have it going into the Mr. Olympia competition. How are you feeling leading up to the show? Feeling good, Dave, man. Feeling good. Feeling good. Now, a lot of people, you know, uh, might be critical of you because you're very confident in yourself. And uh, some people might think it was cocky. I don't. I just, I see it as confidence. You believe in yourself. You've made predictions uh, every single interview we've done for the past two years. And you've always delivered the goods. Uh, will you deliver the goods this year at the Olympia? Dave, man, I'm just working, man. I'm trying. I'm working. I'm working. Um, a lot of guys in the pro division won't do a lot of shows. They feel they'll burn themselves out. You have a different outlook on that. You feel that it, it, it actually makes you better. Why? I get better as I go. And then I try to take a, I try to take a little break right before the Olympia. And then the break kind of sets me up to fully, fully go to that next level. Mm -hmm. you, like, like I told you last year, I told you last year that when I ended the season, that was a little version of me. That was me. That was me being. That was like the moderate me. I ended this season. What I showed you guys for this season is nothing like what I'm bringing to the Olympia. So you're better. You're saying you've gotten even better than what we've seen at the Arnold and all year long. Bigger and better. Bigger and better. Now, why is why is your body improving at such an, a, a phenomenal rate? It seems almost uh, superhuman. Dare I say? Because I train deliberately. I don't just go to the gym and yak weights. Like I go to the gym and I train deliberately. Like I, I made a list of things I wanted to improve on. Um, after uh, after New, I want to say after New York, and I sent it to my coach. And um, he came back the other day and he was like, "Dude, most people can improve one thing." He's like, "You improved all four of them." <laughs> what were the four things that you wanted to work on? Um, I wanted to um, have a better, uh, complete, more lower back. Wanted to get a tighter core, bigger chest, bigger shoulders. And and what do you do to do that? Are you lifting super heavy weights? Are you doing a lot of reps? What what's your strategy for your physique? No, it's 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 not heavy weights, but it's not light weights. I lift moderate weights, and I just focus on really really squeezing those muscles. If I can't feel the muscles, then the weight's too heavy. I can move weight, like I'm strong. I can move weight, but that's pointless to me. Okay, so you're, you're a big believer in, in slow, deliberate type movements where you actually have a good mind-muscle connection, is what you're saying. It, pace has a lot to do with it. Mm -hmm. let's, let's talk about some of your competition, because this men's physique division, there's a lot of shows throughout the year. There's a lot of guys going to be in this men's physique Olympia lineup. Uh, only a couple guys are, I would consider, you know, the elite guys. Now, obviously, Ryan Terry... By one point, I believe, beat you at the Arnold Classic earlier in the year. He was second at the Olympia last year. Uh, why is Andre Ferguson going to beat him at the Olympia this year? Because I'm, I'm coming back better, man. I'm coming back better. That's it. Uh, I just keep getting better. And I think if I keep getting better, I land what, if, if I show up how I should show up, I'm winning the show. Right. Now, it, it's interesting because... I've noticed that as of late, we've seen a lot of taller men's physique guys doing well. Ray Edwins, um, George Brown, 
the, the, the list goes on. There's a lot of good tall guys, but obviously the reigning Olympia champ is Jeremy Buendia, who's short. I think actually, I don't know if you're the same height. I know you're probably a little taller than him. That probably bodes better for you, I would think, because you're going to match up well with him on stage. Oh, yeah. I agree. I agree. Do you get intimidated? Tall, someone like the taller guys, when you stay next to the champ, you look a little off. Like it does, it's, it's kind of hard to compare it. It kind of starts looking like apples and oranges. Yeah, and I think that's why Jeremy Potvin did very well last year because he's kind of like a little, almost Jeremy Buendia clone, almost I call him. They kind of look alike <laughs> even. You know, they're the same height. They have a very similar physique. But you kind of <laughs> they're, not the, they're not the same height. The champ's a little taller than him. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but I'm just saying, you guys kind of all, you know, you're in that same, you know, range of height where you kind of can compare you guys. Um, but then again, when you're backstage and you see these tall guys back there, are you intimidated at all? I think we lost them there for a second. You know, it, it, you know I, I just want to make a statement because it is difficult as a judge to judge a group of guys who are not hitting any poses, you know, in terms of bodybuilding poses, um, and to have to say, hey, this guy's six foot three and this guy's five foot six, and how do we compare these guys? So, um, Andre, in that light, you know, uh, are you intimidated when you see bigger guys backstage? Steve, I, I, I hear you, but I don't see you. I don't know what happened to my, uh, I don't know what happened to the video here. Yeah, all right, I, we just lost Andre again. All right, we'll, we'll try to get him back. Oh, there we are. I right, see so, you, but I don't see you. You don't have to see me. Just talk. Answer my question. When you're backstage, you know, before you get out there, and you see these guys that are 6'1", 6 6'2", 6 uh, is that intimidating for you? You just faded out. You're, like, I could barely, barely... All right, all right. come back to me, Johnny. Let's, I, I just want to... I, I can hear you. I heard you say something, something backstage. <laughs> yeah. What, the point I'm trying to make, uh, if you can hear me, Andre, is that the height difference between the top guys out there is weird because, and you guys are not hitting bodybuilding poses. So to me, it seems a little, you know, odd, you know, to go out on stage against someone who's so much taller. Is it an intimidating type of a, a situation for you? Oh, no, 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 no way, Dave. No okay. Way. So you, don't, you never feel like backstage, hmm, I wish I was a little bigger. I wish I was a little taller. You don't have those, those things, those doubt doesn't go through your head? No, 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 no. The, honestly, the the tall guys, the the, the the height, the height's not intimidating at all. Who's in your estimation? Who's the most uh, dangerous guy out there, aside from yourself, of course? Say that one more time, Dave. Who's the most dangerous men's physique guy out there that you're going to be going up against at the Olympia, in your opinion? Um, Ryan Terry, dude. You do. It's, it's Ryan Terry and Jeremy, man. Okay. So those are your guys to beat. Those, like, I, I don't take anything from those guys, man. They look phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Tell me why Andre Ferguson can win the Olympia in two weeks. Why, why would the judges say, hey, you know what? This guy's our new champ. When you bring something undeniable, it's undeniable. And that's what I plan. It can't be a close call, Dave. Like, I... I I'm trying to bring a package where the judges should say to themselves, if we vote for anybody but Andre, we will look crazy today. Okay. So, so, and you feel looking in the mirror now at two weeks out that you got that look? Oh, yeah. I have, the, I have that look right now. Ex George Brown. George Brown saw me two weeks ago at uh, Bev's. We did a little seminar. We had a little posing seminar in the city. He saw me two weeks ago, and he said, you can step on stage today. Really? That's a, that's a compliment coming from George. And we, and we just started to laugh you, Dave, this week, man. I didn't I didn't touch fish this whole prep till this week. <laughs> do, you, do you think that you're an... I've been asking you about who do you think is good. Do you think you're intimidating to guys like Jeremy Buendia and to, to you know, Ryan Terry? You think they're looking at your Instagram and the pictures you're putting up? Because they're, they're very impressive, these pictures. And you think they're, they're, they're worrying a little bit about you? I don't think... I don't think the top guys are intimidated by anybody. I don't think that at all. Mm -hmm. But... I think they look at me and they say, yeah, he's legit and he's one of the guys that will be standing next to me. Because you keep, you do keep coming back better. I, I know you keep saying it on every show, and, but you deliver on what you're saying. I, I have to say that every time I've seen you on stage where you said I'm coming in better, 
You absolutely have. Uh, I mean, you, you crushed it in New York winning that show. Uh, at the Olympia, I thought it was, might have been your, excuse me, at the Arnold, I think that might have been your best look I saw, believe it or not. I thought you were stellar there. Uh, now you're telling me you're bringing even a better look to the Olympia. So, uh, I mean, you have to be the, the guy who's surging now uh, against a bunch of guys that are kind of static in the sense that I don't think they're making the gains and improvements that you're making. Um, I agree, but I've seen Ryan Terry. Yeah. Ryan Terry made improvements. He did. He, he looks like, since the Arnold, he's probably about four pounds bigger. Okay. He, he's got a thicker back. He's got bigger biceps. He's going to look, he's going to be bigger, and he's going to look better on the stage. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, look, you know, you add a level of excitement. I know you can't hear me. We got you. We, I'm looking at your ear up on the, on the screen. But yeah. I, can I, <laughs> Dave, can, we just, can I just exit out and come back in? No, we're, we're finishing up now anyway. I want to just. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I want to just say that, look, you know, I. I I think that you are good for the sport because not only do you deliver on your physique, but you're very entertaining. You're not afraid to say what's on your mind and put it on the line, but yet you're still respectful of the other guys. So um, I hear that they're going to be allowing some of the men's physique guys into the Olympia press conference on uh, Thursday morning. Is that true? Yes, it is. I'll be there. So you'll be, in, you'll be up on that stage? Yeah, and I answer the... Look, Dave, I never try to bash anybody. I don't slander people. But if you ask me a question, I'm gonna I'm gonna answer it truthfully and honestly, in my opinion. I, I matter of fact, I think they should just give you the microphone and let you run the press conference. I think probably, <laughs> <laughs> that would be fun, though. <laughs> I'd like to hear your questions for the competitors. Forget that the, I don't want to hear Bob Chickarello ask him questions. I want to hear you ask the questions. Oh man, I'd have some good ones. <laughs> Well, look, have fun with it up there on that press conference. Don't hold back. I don't want to, don't, don't pull oh. any superstar like all of a sudden you're going to be quiet because I want, I'm going to the press conference just to see you. <laughs> I got a quick question for you, yeah. Dave. Where you got Brandon Curry this year? You know, I just interviewed Brandon Curry and I, you know, I legitimately think he's got a shot at top six. I do. I think he's, he's okay. got a level of confidence about himself that he never had before. His physique obviously has improved quite a bit. He's got a lot of genetic tools. It's stacked at the top of that of that Olympia lineup, but there's a lot of guys not doing it. So I think that uh, I think he's got a legitimate top six uh, possibility. So I, I'm a fan of him. I'm a fan of his physique. So I hope he breaks in there. I just had to ask you, dude, because yo, he looks nuts right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Well, if you were bigger, you'd be like a you'd be like a, a you're like a men's physique version of Brandon Curry. Yeah, you could say that because that's why I like them because I see my my kind of muscle bellies when right. I look at them. I do too. I do too. Well, I don't know. These pictures I see that you got up on uh, on Instagram, do you, do you put filters on these things? Because you look really good. No. Listen, Dave. You can't bring the filters on the stage, so why even bother filtering the pictures? <laughs> I mean, you look really good in these pictures. They're, they're crazy looking. Johnny's been we're putting working, them up. Dave, we're working, we're working, we're working. You always got to get better, man. Coming back with the same package is not going to win. No, absolutely not. What, now, where are you training these days? What gym? I train at the little local gym that takes me four minutes to drive to from my house. You're smart. It's called Unique Fitness out in Farmingville. Um, yo, dude, that was just like 25 minutes from my house, and I've, I could train there every day if I wanted to. Yeah. But honestly... Driving four minutes up the block versus 25 minutes is a big difference, especially when you're tired after the workout or in the morning lagging the cardio. So just really convenient for me to go here. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, I'm all about convenience, especially when you're dieting. You don't want to be in the car any longer than you have to be. So. And, and on top of that, Dave, like, I know everyone at Bev's. So when I go to Bev's, I have to say hi to everyone. Yeah. I like going to this gym because everyone knows when I put the headphones on, I'm there working. I'm not there hanging out. So don't talk to me. Yeah. It takes me double the, the, the when I go to Bev's, it takes me double the time to train there because yeah, I talk to everyone. Because you gotta talk to every and look, Dave, if you don't talk to everyone, you're kind of being like you're kind of being like Hollywood then. Yeah. I, let me ask you this question. Are you sponsored by anyone? I'm sponsored by a bunch of companies. Who? You better look, look here's your chance. Who who sponsors you? Dark Sport, Muscle Sport. Protein Pizza, Pro 10, P28, and Fathers and Sons, um, they're just close company. Okay. 
What about, you got to get like McDonald's. That's what you got to get. You got to get like a big time. You, you're big time. You're, you're, you know, you need Nike or McDonald's or something like that, you know, behind you. I would look. How do we, how do we, um, how do we bridge the gap there, Dave? I don't know. I, I think you're mainstream, man. You're, you, and you got entertainment value. I think you're missing that. You got to get yourself an agent, I think. This is another thing I wanted to ask you. How do we have, how do we start the conversation for us to get paid more money? Men's physique. <laughs> That's a good question. I understand bodybuilding is king. I understand that. And I understand yeah. bodybuilding should get paid more. But the discrepancy in the money, Dave, is nuts. And look, we go through all the same shit. We prep just as hard. We got to eat all the same shit. You got you to gotta bring in the, uh, the, 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 the sponsorship. I'm telling you. You got to hit Nike up. You got to hit, like, you got to get, I'm telling you, you got to get yourself a sports agent. Because I don't know any talk show that wouldn't put you on that talk show in two seconds with that physique and with that mouthpiece you got, forget about it. You're missing, you're missing the boat, I'm telling you. We're going to do some talking at the Olympia. All right. Because I, I think you I think you can steer me in the right direction of where I want to I go. Think I, I think I got to become Andre's agent. That's what I got to do. Listen, Dave, there's a percentage <laughs> in it for you. I, I, you're damn right, there better be. <laughs> <laughs> I believe in you. Win the fucking Olympia, then we'll talk. And then we got some... Okay. We got, we All right. <laughs> Andre, we we love you. I love the interviews with you. Uh, you got a great personality. I think you got a, a great energy about you. Best of luck up on that Olympia stage. Man, I appreciate it, guys. I appreciate it. Always a number of love from you guys, man. Right. I appreciate it. All right, we'll see you out in Vegas and uh, have a safe flight out there. Press conference, 12, 12 p.m. See you there on Thursday. You, you just made it. Now I, I want to get there even more because you're going to be there. And I hear the top five <laughs> classic physique guys will be there as well. Is that true? Yeah. Okay. Good. Good for good. It's good for business. I always say. Uh, it is. It is. I'm gonna call up uh, Bob Chickerell. I'm gonna make sure that he asks you a lot of questions. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's gonna take us to the end of another episode of Live with RX Muscles Iron Road to the Olympia 2017. Brought to you by Yamamoto Nutrition and Protan. I'm Dave Palumbo. We'll see you next time. <laughs>